first thing I'd like to show you is the, what I call the edge exercise. You've already seen me taking a number of shavings off this edge. And the question is, is it flat? Now, I've got a precision straight edge here, Starrett. And we can see immediately that that's pivoting about the center, indicating that this is actually a bump. Now, what I was taught 40 years ago was the, that the way to get a straight edge was first to deliberately plane it hollow. I do this with what I call stop shavings. My shaving will start just inside this end and it will finish just inside that end. And as you can see, if I continue to do that, I will be getting rid of the bump and as it were, attempting to hollow this edge. The shavings you saw me take earlier, which went right through, I call through shavings. So I put some pencil marks at either end and I'm going to do a squiggle on the surface. Uh, when, you're, when you first try this exercise, uh, don't try and stop and start too near to these marks because if you get it wrong and remove them, um, you defeat the object of the exercise. Starting in the right place is not too difficult. The difficulty comes in trying to stop in the right place because I can't see the timber. So it may help you to have a little telltale on the bench which indicates when you should lift the plane. The other point to make is that it's important that the plane is moving when you lift it. It doesn't matter how slowly it's moving, but if you stop and lift, the shaving remains attached to the wood, pulls back through the mouth of the plane, and it can often take a minute or two to clear it. The squiggle shows you where you actually started and stopped. It's important that the plane with its curved blade is centered on the timber and I use a thumb on top and my fingernails form a fence underneath. So this is a sort of pinching action on the plane. When you start the shaving, it's the thumb pressure on the center, over the center of the work, that's doing all the work. Some beginners grip the back handle much too hard and they tend to twist the plane off the surface. When I'm doing this, I can actually open that hand completely it's only at the end that the thumb is released. Now, when I have live students, I say, what's going to happen in a moment? If I carry on like this, do you see it stopped cutting there and it stopped cutting here? And in a few more shavings, it will in fact stop cutting altogether. You'll perhaps notice that I'm trying to play with my legs as much as possible. My arm my, is jammed against my ribs and I try to do this by rocking backwards and forwards on my legs. There. Stop cutting. I think we can assume that this is hollow and it might be fun to try and measure this hollow. Now, many years ago, I decided to start measuring with ready, readily available cheap things like thin cigarette papers, 
newspaper, writing paper, the thin cigarette papers one thou, newspapers about two thou of an inch, good writing papers about four thou. And a business card is about 0.3 millimeters, which is 12 thou. So to try and find out what's going on, we'll have a bit of fun. I'll put the business card in. There we are. The straight edge is pivoting and rocking up and down. It's nothing like 12 thou. Might it be 4 thou? The straight edge is on the point of spinning on the paper. So this hollow is nearly four thousandths of an inch. If I put two thou underneath, it pulls straight out. Now, I can't leave my edge in this condition. There are in fact little steps here where I started my shaving and finished my shaving and it's got the pencil scribble on it. So what I do is allow myself to have one or two clean up shavings. There's still some pencil so I will take two clean up shavings. And what this does is to reduce the hollow slightly. I'm now clearly spinning on the fourth eye shim. I can just feel the two thigh one grabbing a little bit. So this edge is now two thousandths of an inch hollow over 20 inches long and I consider that to be straight. I think it's a remarkable tolerance for a hand tool on timber. Mm -hmm.